Welcome back to Earl's Animated Worlds. Today, I thought I'd open this Lego set. It's Speed Champions uh, from the Fast and the Furious, uh, the movie Too Fast, Too Furious. Lego number 76917, uh, the Nissan Skyline. Uh, this is the GTR edition. I have no clue what the R stands for. Uh, it's a 319 piece set for ages nine and up. All right, so like I said, this is from the Too Fast, Too Furious movie, and it's the front of the box. Not much on the side. Okay, the back of the box. I like this. It's got a scene from the movie uh, right there. Uh, shows you inside the car here. Shows you the rear of the car. Uh, if I have any problems with it, it's going to be my normal problems. There is a lot of stickers. I think there's 20 stickers with this set overall. All right, let's take a look inside. Now that's a lot of stickers. All right, so this is the Nissan Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious, the uh, Speed Champion set. I have it fully put together. Uh, I like to go over what I like about and what I don't like about it. All right, first of all, I do love the design. You know, it actually, you know, feels like it's a Lego set from the movie. This car is really nicely done. Uh, so the only, um, so with the car's body itself, with the body of the car itself here, the only thing is you cannot actually, you know, I actually have it over like this because you cannot set it on a road plate, you know, to actually put in your city. They're really cool, though. These are really well done. I wonder if I'd be able to build a smaller version of this Lego city size, you know? I do love the design they used. Uh, okay, let's just get to what I don't like about it. I don't like all the stickers to it, and I'm sure I'm not alone with that. Uh, these are, this is a sticker, this is a sticker, all this back here is stickers. The only thing that's actually not a sticker on this are the, um, rims right here. These are not stickers. Those are actually printed on. <sighs> yeah, so the rims aren't stickers. You can see where I have messed up on several of the stickers there. You know. That is completely crooked. That is crooked. Let's get to the inside of the car. So my camera's not picking them up that well, but as you can see inside, there's only three stickers there. The, there's the sticker that's the gauges on the bottom of um, where the nitros, well then, yeah, uh, nitrous is at. You got that other sticker there, and there's some like decal sticker in the middle console there. Uh, let's see here. We got those two stickers on the back there. Actually, I like the design of those. Those are really nice. Stickers there. I will never be able to fix that. See that GTR right there? That GTR is the only thing that's not a sticker and it's a printed piece. Why couldn't they do that with so much of with so many of the other stickers and parts on this? See that sticker there on the window part? I'm sad because I messed it up so bad right there and I tried to fix it. I couldn't. All right. So my overall thoughts on the car, it's an eight out of 10. It is a solid eight out of 10 because I love the design. Like I said, it loses points for the stickers. It really does, sadly enough. Let's get to the minifigure, and that's another reason it's only an 8 out of 10. Okay, so this is the Paul Walker minifigure that it comes with. Uh, his name is in the character in the movie is escaping me at right, right now for some reason. Anyways, this is such a bland figure. That's basically it. There's, you know, basically the same printing on the back there. A um, couple of lines make it look like a t-shirt or something, or tank top, whatever the heck he was wearing. Uh, other than that, this, this, this figure is so bland. It is just so plain. I do not like this figure. See what I mean? Just a couple of lines. There is no second head. This is it. Uh, looks like somebody went over to pick a brick and just, you know, saw some solid bricks and said, let's put a few lines on them. That's where we're at. 
Okay, so one thing I forgot when I was reviewing the little minifigure is that for some reason it came with a wrench. Why did it come with a wrench? Also, originally, wasn't this actually the original, you know, separator tool too? No? Anybody know in the uh, comments there? Okay, so would I recommend this set to you? I actually would. If you're a Speed Champions collector, right now would be the greatest time to go get this if you don't have it. You know, if you want to get another one, you know, because the sticker problem, I'd recommend going to get it. Uh, this premiered on January 1st, 2023 for $25.99, I believe. As of recording this, I have seen it in Target stores and Walmart stores between $13 and $20 and around the same price every now and then on Amazon. So, you know, right now would be the best time to get this. Uh, do I plan to build more Speed Champions? Actually, this was a gift. I didn't go get this. This was a gift somebody gave to me because, you know, huge fan of the movies, huge fan of Legos. And I've actually got two more of these I want to build. So, if you like this review, you know, if it was helpful in any way at all, please hit that like button. Uh, it'd help out the channel a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.